<laughs> if I had a whistle like yours, Mike... Yes? <laughs> I'd lose it. What? <laughs> Gordon doesn't have to go as fast as a jet engine. He's a steam engine. But he's still full of hot air, whistled James. My funnel's cold, my funnel's cold, he puffed. I want a scarf, I want a scarf. Rubbish, Percy, said Henry. Engines don't wear scarves. Engines with proper funnels do, replied Percy. You've only got a small one. It was Gordon. He came rushing down the hill at a tremendous rate. He didn't look at Henry and he didn't look at Edward. He screamed straight through the station and disappeared. Well, said Edward. It isn't wrong, chuckled Henry, but we just don't do it. Anyone would think, said Douglas, that Donald had had his accident on purpose. I hear tell about an engine and some tar wagons. Shut up, said James. It's not funny. He didn't like to be reminded of his own accident. Well, well, well. Surely, James, it wasn't you. You didn't say. James didn't say. He slouched sulkily away. Hello, Gordon. Is it tomorrow? Gordon didn't answer. He just let off steam feebly. Did you lose your way, Gordon? No, it was lost for me. I was switched off the main line onto the loop. I had to go all round and back again. Perhaps it was instinct. At last, Toby lost patience. James, he asked, why are you red? I am a splendid engine, answered James, ready for anything. You never see my paint dirty. Oh, said Toby innocently, that's why you once needed bootlaces to be ready, I suppose. Here are your trucks, James, said Thomas. Have you got some bootlaces ready? And he ran off, laughing. Don't be frightened, Thomas, he laughed. It's only me. Your ugly fizz is enough to frighten anyone, said Thomas. You're like ugly indeed. I'm green caterpillar with red stripes, continued Thomas firmly. You crawl like one, too. I don't. Who's been late every afternoon this week? It's the hay. I can't help that, said Thomas. Time's time, and Sir Topham Hatt relies on me to keep it. I can't if you crawl in the hay till all hours. Huh. You're Sir Handel, I suppose. Sir Handel was standing no nonsense. And you, I suppose, are George? Yes, I've heard of you. And I've heard of you. You swank around with your steamroller wheels, pretending you're as good as me. Actually, I'm better. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.